Hey guys, what's going on? Matt the Taming here. Um, you know, I have I get a lot of questions from people from all over the world that ask me questions about marketing, Joomla, and you know, a bunch of different things. And today's question is about Joomla, and it's from Shona from Canada. She said, "Hi, Matthew. I have a question for you. What is the proper way to download a uh, Quick Start demo template zip file for Joomla to GoDaddy? I know what to do once I get to the installation page. It's just getting there isn't working." Okay, so to demonstrate, I'm just going to download a Joomla 2.5 uh, package. So I'm on Joomla.org, download, and I'll just download the 2.5 because this is the version that you know most people have now. So once you've downloaded, just save it to your um, hard drive or laptop. Okay, so it's saved there now. So next, what you want to do is you want to locate where you downloaded it. So I'm just going to find it. Okay, here it is. And you need some type of uh, zip file to something to open a zip file. So I'm just going to double click on it, extract it. You want to extract uh, the template, the template file. So once I extract it. As extracting it, so this particular uh, file has about 17.5 megabytes. Okay, so after you've extracted it, then you want to open the file. So here's the full package that I've extracted, and pretty much to extract something, as I said before, you can uh, double click on it or you can right click on it. So once you've extracted it, you see all the particular files that are in this uh, in this folder. So what you want to do next is you need an FTP client, uh, something that you can transfer those files over to your server. Um, I'm using right now. I'm using FileZilla. Uh, to get FileZilla, just go to Google. You can just search for it, and download so once you go there you just pick what, what version that you need so once you've downloaded FileZilla and installed it on your computer uh, you want to open it the things that you're going to need for this is you're going to need the host the server the username the password now for the port don't worry much about the port uh, so if you don't have this information you can contact your hosting provider and you know I'm glad to give it to you but I've already connected to where I am going to install this so I'm just gonna uh, open up a new okay so I'm connecting right now to where I want to install this particular template okay okay now if you have uh, cPanel or whatever server you have you want to create a folder uh, in that particular server so I'm just gonna create you can create a folder one or two or you can go back to the server and create a folder or you can create a folder um, through the FTP but I'm just gonna create a folder through the FTP right now since it's so much easier for me right click create I'm just gonna put in Joomla 1 just Joomla 1 okay I'm just gonna click Joomla 1 okay so now I've created a folder on the root domain uh, called Joomla one which is right here the next step is I wanna okay so I'm just gonna find the folder where I have it in and I have so many folders cuz I'm, I'm you know always doing you know a bunch of stuff here okay and you can look locate the server uh, the files to where you saved on your um your hard drive. So here's the package that I downloaded and have extracted. So these are the files that I need to transfer over to the new folder that I created. So I'm just gonna right click and just highlight everything. Okay. Now you want to find out the specific folder so you don't put that in the wrong place. So this is the Joomla one that I created. I'm just gonna drag press down and just drop it over into the new one now if you notice 
at the bottom right here it's a quit files and it's just loading all those files to your server so this might take you know a few minutes to get done but in the meantime while this is loading there's another step that we need to do and that is to create a database now a database this is where the user's information everything is, is, is uh, saved there so that you can uh, retrieve it later alright so log into your cPanel or if you use GoDaddy or different uh, if they don't use cPanel just locate where you can create a database alright so I'm logging right now I'm using cPanel I am going to my SQL database click on it and you want to create um, just a username so for the username, I'm just going to put in Joomla1. You can put whatever you want. And then create. Alright, it's loading. Okay, it's created this database. Next, we're going to click on the go back. Next, we want to create a user. So I'm just going to, you can use the same uh, name used for the database. So I'm just going to create a, the same at the same username as I did for the database. For the password, you can put in whatever password that you want. And it's important to make sure that your password is strong enough. Okay, so once I've put that in there, uh, just click create user. Now I get a pop-up if I want to remember this. So I'm just going to click remember. So make sure that you save this password. Whatever password. This is a password that I'm using for now. Okay. And this is the user. So I'm going to go back. There's one more final step. And that is you want to set the permission. So scroll, scroll down where you can find at user to database. Now you want to be able to connect the database with the user that you created. So I have Joomla1 as the user. For the database I have Joomla1 as well. So I'm just going to click on add. Okay. Now you get to this page. What you want to do is you want to copy and save this information. Okay. With the password that you set for it. Because you're going to need this uh, in order to complete the installation for it. So next you check all privileges and then click make changes and once you're done you click on go back check on the files okay now there's still about 4,000 plus so files uh, that are left to, to get loaded so I'm just gonna let this complete load and then I come back once it's done to complete it okay so the files have been uploaded to the server completed now the next step is you want to go to that particular folder so for example I'm just going to use Google as an example so your domain name all right well let me just go let me just go right here real quick okay okay so I'm just going to go to the domain name that I had that under which is one you don't want to type anything else just your domain name dot com dot net whatever it is slash uh, where you install the uh where you upload it that particular those files to so i have it right here okay don't touch anything don't change anything just click on next and you get this scroll down the page if you get something like this then everything seems to be working fine uh and then click on next and you don't worry about all this just uh conditions and license stuff so click on next now this is where you need to put in the username and the password and the database stuff that you created um, earlier so I'm just gonna put in this the one that I had created for the username and the password is the same I'm sorry the database and then I am going to put in the password so you need to put in the username and the password in the database name that you created earlier so once you've done that you click on next and also uh, 
don't change the settings for the database type just leave it to what it is now which should be MySQLi uh, and then you want to make sure that you just leave this uh, back up for the database prefix and stuff don't worry about that don't touch anything just click on next if you did it correctly you should get a page um, something like this now if you didn't get this page then you have to make sure you check your login your, your uh, database uh, information again now don't touch this don't edit this just click on next this we're going to put in your site name which is Joomla1 uh, for an email I'm just going to put in email at your email.com uh, for the username admin the password admin confirm admin and you want to scroll down now you want to install some type of sample data uh, so it can populate now based on the template that you purchase sometimes you don't need that but for this we're going to use it just so populate some uh, sample data and so just click select the last one which is default English sample data and you click on install sample data and what's going to happen is that Joomla already has some pre-populated content that um, they're in, um, added to the site so once you've done that click on next okay let's define the step so you need to remember the username and password that you use when you were creating this uh, installation this is the step which is the, the previous step so you want to click on remove installation folder you want to make sure that you do that because if not someone else can access the site and reinstall stuff for you and and mess it up so make sure that you, you click, click the remove so once you've done that you have two options you can either click on the site or the admin what I normally recommend is and it really doesn't matter which one but just to make sure that everything works uh, that it was done properly I normally just click on site and to see there you go so everything looks pretty well uh, and then from this point on if you want to log into the admin panel you would go to your domain name forward slash this the folder name you created forward slash administrator so it'll look something alright so once you do that and you get the login so I'm just going to test to make sure the, the logins work I'm just I just use admin admin you can create whatever you want remember it yes so there you have it you know that's how you install Joomla manually and if you have another questions uh, please feel free you know to let me know if you have problems with your installation or you get some type of error uh, I'll be glad to help you with it